All right, so I found another active spot at Amber Lake for this week. We are at 6494. I am using the pop-up method rig, and I caught 50 fish here in the in less than 20 minutes. So yeah, this spot is really active. So I decided I want to share it with you guys to see how well you can do with the spot. But I'll show you what I'm using here in just a second. The first 3.6 common cart. All right, all right. All right, let's cast this bad boy back in there, and I'll show you what I'm using here. All right, so what I'm using is the pop-up method rig, not the classic. It is the method. Do not get mixed up by the two. So this is what I'm using right here. I'm using the cart mix. And then I'm using Old Pal Vanilla pop-up 14, Old Pal White Chocolate 14 pop-up, and White Chocolate Nectar. So yeah, that's all what I'm using here today. Um, for the spod rod, I am using... Uh, let's see here. I'm using Corn Flour, Vanilla Feed Pellets 3, Cocoa and Cream Feed Pellets 7, Vanilla Cream 15 Pop-Up Crushed, White Chocolate 14 Pop-Up Crushed, Boilies, and White Chocolate as the Attractant. So, let's see how much fish we can catch here within an hour, and yeah, let's see how active the spot really is. Again, 6494 Amber Lake and Clip 35. Most of the fish are not going to be the biggest fish on the face of the planet, but the bite rate is still really decent. You could probably switch up the ground baits to something different if you would like. There's our first common, little baby common, but you know what? I always used to think that the baby commons and all that, because they're not worth anything, so I used to just trash them or throw them back. But you can make fish pieces out of them. So this is a really good way to farm fish pieces, if you would like. Because I grinded all the way up to like three to 400 fish pieces in one day by just sticking it with this spot right here. So yeah, two for one, you get to kill two, two birds with one stone. <laughs> you see, even though they are babyish, most of them will be. Go ahead and craft them into some juicy fish pieces like I'll do right here. So they're too, they're too little to keep. So just keep on filleting them. And then you'll have infinite amount of fish pieces. <laughs> so you get to uh, grind up silver at the spot. And you get to grind up some fish pieces at the same time. There's another one right here. It's raining out, so the bite rate should uh, be even more decent. Another common, 3.2. I've caught a lot of frame-sided carps here yesterday. Uh, I caught some... I caught some mere ghost carps here. Uh, quite a few of them, actually. A lot of 10 ki kilogram ones. Um, a couple leather carps. I caught a 20 kilogram leather carp here last night. And then for whoever who didn't know, um, a couple days ago, I went ahead and got myself a, where is it here? Trophies, no region C. I got myself the biggest haddock ever caught in the USA region. I'm so proud of this. I did mount it in my house. So if you want to go check that out, you can go check my house out. Yeah, yeah cool looking fish, eh? Biggest fish ever caught in the USA region. So yeah, a little pat in the back for me. <laughs> got something else here that didn't take long at all. Oh, and line two. All right. Yeah, if you try the spot out too, let me know down in the comment section down below um, to see how well this spot treated you. So I would love to know what kind of fish you caught here as well. We're almost at 500 subscribers. You guys and gals are amazing. I never expected to even reach two subscribers doing Russian, Russian Fishing 4 videos when I first started. See, there's a frame side carp right there. You get a bunch of those at this spot using this bait and the pop-up method. But yeah, you guys and gals did amazing. I appreciate the 420, 430 subscribers that you gave me. Um, you're, you're awesome. Thank you. Once we hit 500, we will be doing a giveaway. Um, yeah, uh, if we reach 500 subscribers, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll put you all onto a wheel. 
And then if you're selected, then you get to go on to play the Wheel of Fortune. That is right. You can win yourself some Steam gift cards, some PayPal gift cards, some monthly, weekly premiums, all that good stuff. So if you want to be entered, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, and um, show up to the stream. Because if you don't show up to the stream, there's nothing I can really do about that. So you have to be at the stream to also be entered. So yeah, it's going to be a good time. Thank you all for the, for the 400 subscribers. You're amazing. All right. There's another common carp. Man, they're just... They're everywhere. They're just biting left, right, and center. Another carp. I do not mind the little ones because once again I will just flame two fish pieces. So it's win win ending way, if you think about it. Alright, something nibbled line three here. So while it's nibbling on line three, let's go ahead and craft some more fish pieces up here. You'll never ever run out of fish pieces if you uh, come to this spot using this bait. <laughs> okay, so line one is going off. Okay, you love to see it. Which one is going to take it first? Line one or two? I mean, one or three. Looks like line one is going to take it. All right. Also, too, I have streamed every single day for the last five days straight. If you want to catch me on my streams, I do stream around probably, I think it's around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to come check me out, I do stream most days. So, yeah, 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I'm usually live. I stream for about anywhere from three hours to five hours every night. That spot is hot. Holy. She's Louise. Look at that. <laughs> Love to see it. I caught a, last night here, I also caught a Gibble Carp Trophy. You don't usually catch Gibble Carp Trophies at Amber. It's more of a bear thing, but I will take it gladly. As you can see, the proof is in the pudding. It is an active spot. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not even editing out the video. I edited it out once, and as soon as I edited it out, fish bit. So, <laughs> not much editing, because the, the bite rate is super active. I caught, I caught a couple 20 kilogram Mia carps last night here as well. At 4.8. You know, even though if they're not the biggest fish in the world, of how good the bite rate is, it doesn't take much to grind up the silver. Um, because I sold mine for about 900 silver. I was probably at the spot for around maybe two and a half hours in real life. And I made just under a thousand silver so for me that's pretty amazing for amber lake especially when the fish are not that big all right line two and three is going at it there we go there's line two now this is a really small fish this is definitely going to be cut up to some fish pieces here come to daddy come on now come on in wow now that's probably one of the smallest common carbs i have ever caught in my life <laughs> To get a word for that. All right. Line three. And it, it does die down a little bit during the night. So if you do um, come in for the first time during the night, and it's not that good a bite rate, don't be worried. Don't be worried because that's usual. You just have to wait till daytime again. Uh, 6.2 kilogram mirror. I mean, I'm um, common. There we go. This is probably going to be another common. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah 5.1 kilogram common cart. Something else was taking um, line two, I believe, but it's just nibbling for now. So let's go ahead and craft some more fish pieces up. Um, 500 gram common, yep. There we go. Anything else? Yeah, 1.4 kilogram comments. Slice that bad boy up. All right. There we go. All right. So within five minutes, <clears throat> not even five minutes, I have gotten 10 fish, and that's not even including the ones that I cut up. So if you include the ones that I cut up to fish pieces, I probably had around 16 fish ready in under five minutes. And yeah, that is incredible bite rate. Incredible. Especially, too, when I don't have to edit the videos out, that, that really proves that the bite rate is smoking hot. Three point eight. Who would ever have thought the pop up method would work this great, eh? A lot of people told me, oh, don't use the pop up method, just go to the classic and all that, um, classic pop up. But I don't know that the method has been really working well for me. On um, Bear Lake, I've used the method and the pop up method. And I caught two grass cart trophies at Bear Lake. I caught a mirror cart trophy and a water body record gibble cart trophy at Bear Lake. The video, that video was out a couple days ago. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, yeah, so the pop-up method is working fantastic. We got another bite on line two and three here. Let's go and eat some delicious honey. Mmm, delicious. All right. We got something here. Okay, so it's getting late into the night, and uh, the fish is still biting. So that's a good sign. A bream. A 1.6 kilogram bream. I've caught a couple 2.5 kilogram breams and a 3 kilogram bream here um, last night. So bream is definitely in the on the menu as well. Another 4.7 kilogram common. Now the bite rate should die down just a little bit here, but that is all right. All right, line one and two is popping off here. Please wait. The carp, look at that. Look at that tiny ass little fish. All right, we'll chop you up into fish pieces. All right, buddy. I right, one point nine kilogram common. All right, so let's go cut up those uh, fish. There we go. Uh, we're not going to cut the bream because they're actually worth something. And also, too, you don't just get fish pieces from doing this. You also grind up your skill level as well. So it's three for one deal. Who doesn't like a three for one deal? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty astonished that uh, the bite rate is still pretty decent throughout the night. Because usually it's not, but I'll take it. Another common. 4.0, oh, all right. Got something on line one.
All right, we got a 3.6 kilogram. Yeah, a lot of people this week are having trouble trying to find an active spot on uh, Amber Lake. So this should definitely help you out. You can definitely, like I said before, experiment with the ground bait on the pop-up method. And this is going to be a mirror carp. 5.0 mirror carp. All right, all right. During the night here, hopefully something juicy. Oh, line two and three. Here we go. Damn, I've edited the video, what, like two times? And I didn't even need to edit the video two times. I could have just waited. <laughs> the bite rate is just so active right now. A 5.0 mirror. There we go. Uh, 667 common carp. All right, we got our last fish on. It doesn't look like it is that big, but that is all right. Yeah, if I stayed here for a whole hour, I would definitely have probably over 100 fish, which is, again, not realistic. <laughs> all right. There's a common cart. But you know what? I'm going to stick here until we do get a bigger one because we're going to craft him into fish pieces, so that means we only got 19 fish. So I'll stay here until we get a marker size at least. So let's go ahead and craft this bad boy up right here. Boom. There we go. All right, line one or three. What is it going to be first? And line two. All right, we got a lot of fish here. <clears throat> Let's see which one is going to have the biggest fish on. Another baby common. That is all right. Again, I'll just carve it into fish pieces. All right, what am I doing? Why am I casting that back in the water? We're done. <laughs> I'm like, I want to keep going. <laughs> no, we're done. We're done. All right, so let's reel this back in here. All right, while we wait for the other two lines to get a bite on, let's do this. Carve it into some more fish pieces here. All right, line one or two. Well, it looks like line one's going to go first. All right. And then line two. Okay, what a perfect ending here. So we're going to have probably 21 fish if both are marker sizes. This one is definitely marker size, 100%. Alright, we got another frame side carp here. Oh wait, we're not casting back in. Calm down, Jay. Calm down. <laughs> Alright, last one of the day, or the episode, let's see what it is going to be. We're going to have 21 fish in like 10 to 12 minutes. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's going to be another common, alright. A 6.1, alright, I'll meet you guys and get us back when we get back to the fish market. And then we'll see how much we can cash out for.
All right, foremost, let's go ahead and see what we got in the cafe. Anything juicy in the cafe? Um, we got no tensions, no Chinese sleepers, no pike, no bleak, no burbot, nothing. Wow, what a trash cafe. I've had such bad luck with the cafe orders lately on every map. All right, let's go and see what we got and how much we made. Let's see, come on now. Something juicy. All right, so remember, this was for... 15 minutes max more like 12 13 minutes ish if you decide to keep all of the non-markers like say you don't you don't want to flight the fish pieces you just want to keep it for extra silver we, we can probably tack around another 100 silver on top of that because all of, we probably had over 30 non-marker fishes that we caught um we sliced up so let's see here 187 silver in just 10 to 13 minutes if we would have added on all the fish we cut up into fish pieces we probably had 287 silver in just 10 to 13 minutes that is insane you came here just for an hour you do the math that's like over like almost like eight nine hundred silver ish that is insane man insane all right well we'll sell that there is an active spot out of the way and yeah, um, I'll try to find some more active spots for you guys and gals in the future. But for now, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, hit the hell out of the subscribe button, and I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing 4. Take care.